All right, low 80s for the high temperature this afternoon. We're going to have a mixture of sun and clouds out there. This morning we were down to 57 degrees, but tomorrow morning 66. So you're not going to need the jacket tomorrow morning like you might have needed this morning. 87 for the high Thursday. Friday will be near 90. You'll notice the windier conditions tomorrow and Friday with gusts up to 25 to 30 miles per hour from the southeast. An off chance for a storm over the weekend, uh, but we'll be keeping an eye on things, keeping you up. Updated. No substantial chances for rain over the next seven days. Unfortunately, we need even more rain than we got earlier this week. David Lee. All right, Sarah, thank you. And thank you all for watching today. I don't know that I would ever call SA Live cheesy. I don't think I would either. I wouldn't. Just, just the right amount of it's cheese. It's just pure fun. SA Live starts right now. Today on SA Live, an easy spring meal for the entire family. Less than five ingredients. We'll show you how to make this. You want to celebrate Cinco de Mayo in a really big way. Tostadas, these drinks that really takes two hands to handle. Going to show you where you can find it. Live music, lots of great things on the menu. And Disney on Ice Dream Big is coming to the Alamo Dome. We've got one of the characters here for a preview. It's all today on SA Live. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. Oh, hello and happy Wednesday. And you know, David Sears is right. <laughs> you know, SA Live is just kind of that perfect amount of yes. cheese. It is the yes. Goldilocks <laughs> of cheese right on enough. this show. <laughs> <laughs> so listen up, cheese lovers. You have a chance to taste some of the best mac and cheese mm -hmm. in town mm -hmm. and vote for your favorite. We are going to tell you how. Good afternoon. I'm Fiona Gorsiza. <laughs> I'm Ben Tobias-Fesky filling in for Mike Ostehage. Yes, we're talking about one of the favorite comfort foods, mac and cheese. What do you like to top it with? Do you have something? Brisket. Oh, yeah. You oh, can't wow. Go I wrong. didn't even think. You can't go. I know. <laughs> wrong with brisket. I've had that before. That's amazing. That's one of my go-tos. That's one of my go-tos. I'd say brisket. Yeah. Brisket. And I like to pair it, of course, with anything. Any yes. kind of protein. Yes. <laughs> mac and cheese anytime. But that's what we want to know from you. What do you like to top your mac and cheese with? Yeah. Let us know at SA Live Case out on Facebook and Twitter and you'll make us hungrier as, <laughs> as you tell oh, us. And we yes. see that later in the show. All right. Well, like we mentioned earlier, local restaurants are competing this weekend to see who is the mac daddy of mac and cheese <laughs> and down. And the best part, you can try them all and vote for your favorite. You're welcome. <laughs> Looks amazing. One of those competitors, Ben De Los Santos, owner of Benji's Munch, is here, and you're going to give us a preview of absolutely, the absolutely. Mac and Cheese Fest. Yes. Right. Um, so it's this Saturday, uh, I think from 11 to 4. So mm -hmm. just a lot of different macaron macaroni and cheese varieties are going to be out there. So some really good choices. So we're uh, doing uh, a mac and cheese right here. So we're, we have pasta. Just going to drop it right in there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start one here. Get it going. And you guys are, of course, known for your mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. Amongst they keep other, asking me to do mac other and cheese. Things, right? yeah. yeah, we have a lot of different things we there do. You know. So uh, the burgers, the barbacoa, mm -hmm. just a mm. lot of different stuff. Okay. So, you're good. You're good. That's all we're going to get. So you're just going to let that sit in there. And I think we're about ready. So it didn't take long. Just to, It's mm -hmm. already par cooked. So it's just going to come from there. It's going to go straight into the pan. Okay. Let's turn this on. Okay. okay. So you said there's about 15 other restaurants, right? Yeah, all I think so. Um, there's a good number of restaurants. Here you go. We're going to go over with that. And you're going to go right to the pan. Okay, you're going to come with Careful. me. That's okay. You got it. Teamwork. Right? Yeah, I got it. Good job. There okay, go. and just let it get, it's going to get nice and hot in there. Okay. And All so, right. how many cheeses are in the there's, cheese? There's this, our, we, so, we make a base and we do mm -hmm. a lot of different things with our cheese, with our macaroni and cheese. Mm -hmm. So, um, the one we're doing for the festival is a uh, porchetta with a chimichurri. And uh, here you go. He can put that across so it doesn't yep, go yep, all over. Thank you. Um, so porchetta with chimichurri, and that's a really one of our more popular ones. Uh, we're doing we, at the restaurant. We do bacon mac and cheese, which is called mac and swine, mm. which is really nice. And then we do a regular mac and cheese. There you go. It's gonna get nice and melty in there. What's the key to the perfect mac and cheese? Would you say? Uh, I think it's just the creaminess. Uh, mm -hmm. Sometimes they get a little dry, and it's just kind of mm -hmm. it's like off-putting. But uh, you want it to be as as creamy as possible. So. Ours has American cheese, cheddar cheese, jack cheese, uh, mozzarella, and provolone. And oh. the mozzarella and provolone does a really nice job of giving it that stretchy pull kind of thing. 
that's so that's what part. you want. That's yeah. what you want. That's the best yeah. Part. And the so, noodles, I noticed they're like the thicker, they're, right? And, our, like and, and with the macaroni, it actually the holes will actually absorb the sauce oh, inside of it. Yes. So when you, when you bite them, they get the little pop of uh, cheese popping out mm. of them. And ours have ridges, so it holds onto that cheese sauce really nice. It's like the pop rocks okay. of mac so, and cheese. So you're gonna put some of that bacon in there because we're doing a bacon mac and cheese for this one. Okay. Yeah. There you go. A little bit more. A little bit more. That's good, right there. Perfect. Drop it all in there. Just stir it up a little bit. Okay. Getting nice and creamy. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, it looks great. Okay. Okay. And then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna put it in the, the pan right there. And then we're gonna top it off with some more. Go, Fiona, go. Go, 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 sir. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> good job. That's very nice. All right, All right. I'm gonna turn this. Got that. And then, and then some then the bacon rest on top. Right on top. Okay. And then a little bit of the other cheese just sprinkles right on top of that too. And I'll take this. Beautiful. There we go. All right, I think we're good. Right, and yeah, and that's this back and swine that we have at the restaurant. Okay. So that's so that's, that's one of the popular ones, yeah, right? It, it's not melted on top, but typically when you get it at the restaurant, we have the broiler and it gets nice and ah, melty. Okay. So it, it looks really, so really pretty. All okay? right. So now so we're, we'll make... Now we're doing the next one. Okay. And we're going to be doing, just drop it in again. Let's see if I got better at Good this. Good job. You're doing better. Yes. <laughs> I'm just going to so cool sick. this off. Yeah. yeah okay. So, so while, while that's going in, tell us a little bit about the festival, you know, that's the, about to happen. The festival is actually just a group of, uh, uh, it's like a pop-up, but um, they're having a competition for the best mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different uh, restaurants that are, are vying for this uh, title, yeah. uh, best mac and cheese. So people get to vote, they drop in coins in the little buckets and they get to taste every one of them. So you can get a sample of each one. And then let's turn this back on. Oh, yep. Sounds mm -hmm. like a dream. Get to <clears throat> sample mm. all. Yeah, of them. You get, so you can just mac and cheese yourself to death and just go like crazy <laughs> with mac it. and cheese. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good one, Fiona. All right. Okay, so a little bit of this, and then yeah. we're gonna get some sauce in there. Okay, I'll use our right. bowl again. Good job. Good what's job. Your, and what's your favorite kind of cheese? I already asked you. Mac and cheese. Oh, my favorite cheese. Gouda. Gouda. I'm a Gouda guy. Yeah. <laughs> Love Gouda. Gouda. Absolutely. Yeah. Gouda. Oh yeah, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> okay. And then we'll there you go. Mix. Mm -hmm. Stir it up, and you added this one too, right? Yes, but beautiful. I can put more. You can put more. Yeah, there's not, never, <laughs> never not? not enough cheese. We yeah. always want more cheese. So tell people where you're located if they want to go sample so your food. So we have a restaurant uh, called Benji's Munch at Bitters and Blanco, mm -hmm. um, right inside 1604. So really, uh, 1218 West Bitters is our is our actual address. Okay. And we do a lot of different things. So we do the mac and cheese, we do burgers, we do uh Do you see that burger? Hold a lot of, a lot of grilled cheeses, yeah, burgers, barbacoa. Mm. Uh, a lot of things to choose from at the restaurant. So, I'm going to turn that off. Okay, I'm going to okay. Fiona take And this. you have other kind of food festivals coming up. Yeah, we do. Um, we've got uh, the uh, Grilled Cheese Festival, which we're kind of known for. We've mm -hmm. won that Grilled Cheese Festival each time it's happened. So wow. uh, it's a spinach and artichoke grilled cheese. Good job, oh. Fiona. You're making the porchetta <laughs> with the chimichurri. So load it up with porchetta mm. and then chimichurri right on top of that. So um, yes, the Grilled Cheese Festival is coming up in, uh, I think, the October, November. I think it's November 12th. Lots of great events. And uh, some really neat stuff happening there. We also participate in Restaurant Week and uh, with Culinaria. Mm -hmm. So we try to support mm -hmm. that. Some really good things going on. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a really good one right there. And that's what we'll be doing at the, the festival. And now are you always coming up with just different recipes and having fun? We've had, uh, since we've, we've had a food truck for over seven years mm -hmm. and we've run <laughs> 250, close to 300 different items on the food truck wow. uh, since we've been open. So a lot of different things and we just get creative and we'll just throw different types of grilled cheeses. We're kind of known to make different short rib grilled cheese or yes. uh, just all kinds of stuff. So and there's keto a, options you mentioned too. Absolutely, oh, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, that's, that's this is, this is gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else who's showing up is competing for second. Uh, I, know, I know, I know. Okay, just I, I like the way you roll, but <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not gonna take that yet. Uh, I'm gonna get, let, them, let them sample it. We'll go from there. All right. Yeah, a lot of keto stuff, a lot of gluten-free stuff at the restaurant. So a lot of good menu items all that you can right. choose from. And you can get that sample right at the Mac and Cheese Fest. Don't forget, it is this Saturday, April 30th, from noon to 3 p.m. at St. Paul Square. Tickets are going pretty fast, right? And you don't want to wait to miss your chance. I mean, all that mac and cheese, right? Absolutely. Now. All right, for more information on the Mac and Cheese Fest and Benji's Munch, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the Yes Scene on SA Live tab. That's it. Okay, yeah, <laughs> just making sure. All right, well, Cinco de Mayo is a little more than a week away, and if you're looking for a place to celebrate, there's one place in town that will have it. Mmm, great food, some drink specials, maybe some live music. Our Mike Oster Hage checks it out.
BS to just end it, and now it is time to start thinking about Cinco de Mayo, and what a place to celebrate, but out here at Costa Pacifica, and Denise Cabello is talking about some really great drink specials, food specials you have going on. That's right. Okay, mm -hmm. this thing, <laughs> good Lord. Well, you're a busy man. You need to relax with a good drink and talk about a good drink. Good. Good size. <laughs> How? This, this will uh, definitely make your day. This is uh, Costa Pacifica's a cantarito, okay? So come here with an empty belly because uh, you'll be full after this and you'll be feeling good. Yes, yeah. you will. Yeah. So. Okay, so you ready to go? Mike's just going to be a bartender, right. sure. but I'll tell you a little bit about what we do for okay. a cantarito. So you're going to get four um, ounces of tequila. You're going to get four three, ounces four. of Grand Marnier as well. Uh, with Mike's behind the bar, you may get a little bit more. That's okay. You'll also I'm a good bartender. <laughs> that's what I call a good bartender. You get four ounces ounces of lime and four ounces of orange juice four, as well. Approximately. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to top it off with some grapefruit soda. I love grapefruit soda. It's going to get all that carbonation, mix it all up. You top it off with that. You can see our uh, our cantaritos already rimmed with some tajin, but let's top it off with a straw. You've got your chamoy straw, and you can garnish with some lime, some oranges. I mean, that's just all the citrus and the si all the things. The size of this thing, there. you just got to put the whole lime and the whole orange in there, basically. <laughs> yeah, exactly, so you'll put lime exactly. in too, and yeah, maybe a couple pounds. So you get a workout as well, right? Okay. Win win. <laughs> That's her story and she's sticking to it. Yeah. You need something to snack on with this and as mm -hmm. as big and over the top as this is, this tostada, oh my goodness gracious. Yes. What do so you call that? Drink responsibly because you're gonna you're gonna feel good after this. So why don't we get Ooh. some food mm. in our belly as well? We're okay. gonna make the loca tostada and it's called the loca tostada because it's really any seafood you can imagine all on one tostada. Okay, wow. so we're gonna start off with our base. This is our tostada, our mm -hmm. corn uh, tortilla. Then we're gonna top it with some mayonnaise first. Just lay the base down a little bit. Yours will look prettier when you come to Costa Pacifica. I'm going a little bit fast, okay? So don't mind it, me. It all eats the same, <laughs> exactly. so. Exactly. Now, we're, as far as specials, while you're uh -huh, making that, uh -huh. this, which is gonna be half off, double, triple, quadruple the size, but then half off. That's a bargain any day. That's right. So we have tons of uh, specials for you on Cinco de Mayo. So mm -hmm. you can get your tequila shots on special when you come visit us. You can okay. get your margaritas on special as well. And then enjoy a cantarito because you're going to really enjoy it with your uh, tostada as well. This is just like a ceviche piled on a tor well, tostada. Well, we started with ceviche. We have tuna. This is crab here. We're going to top off some shrimp. We're going octopus next all on top of your tostada and then we're going to garnish it with some vegetables some of our aioli and uh, uh some of the house-made sauces here at costa pacifica your again yours is going to look uh a little bit better than this one, but we just wanted to show you. I mean, that's that's gonna fill you up. That's all you need. <laughs> I'm still wondering how you're supposed to tackle that. Um, let's say both hands. Okay. <laughs> Try but, both hands. But both hands board. are gonna be occupied with this uh, thing, so I you know. definitely have to take turns. So bring so. friends to uh, Costa Pacifica on Cinco de Mayo. We have live music. We have mariachis. We've got karaoke. It's gonna be a really fun time. All right, 1604 on the inside of 1604, just east of Blanco. So you can go around, make the loop That's and all right. that stuff. Tucked right in here, live music, big old drinks, tostadas, <laughs> a lot of fun. Yeah, I'll see you here. Okay, happy Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> and for more information on Costa Pacifica, of course, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Salud. Cheers. Salud. Mm -hmm. Five ingredients, one impressive recipe sure to please the entire family. But first, your favorite Disney characters are coming to life where you can see them live here in the Alamo City and we chat with one of the stars. That's next. Welcome back to SA Live. Mickey, Minnie, Moana, and more of your favorite Disney characters are inspiring the Alamo City to dream big in a brand new show. Yes, skater Shanda DeWitt is here to bring a little magic to Market Square and tell us all about their exciting performance. Welcome! Yes, thank you so much. All right, you are fresh.
fresh off the ice, right? <laughs> and um, you, of course, play Elsa. Yes, I do. What Ooh. is that like when you go out there for the first time in front of that crowd? It's so exciting. Mm -hmm. I've been able, I've been lucky enough, really, to portray the role of Elsa for six years now. Wow. And it doesn't get old. Every time I step out there, it's like I'm doing it from the Rock beginning star. again. <laughs> yeah, it's so much it's so much fun and hearing the kids sing along with the music, there's really nothing like it. Yes, I've taken my kids before and the excitement it's just off the charts. But tell us a little bit more about the show, Dream Big. Yep, so the Disney on Ice presents Dream Big. We have something for everyone on this show. As the name says, Dream Big, it's about all the characters and their dreams and realizing them and knowing that anything is possible. So we have everything from classic princesses like Cinderella and Aurora all the way to newer stories. Coco, of course, I'm a little biased, but Frozen as well. <laughs> but we have The Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast. So there's really something for everyone. It's a great show. So how are all those stories kind of woven together in this tale? Well, of course, we have our favorites, Mickey and Minnie. They appear and they kind of weave the stories together and come out and introduce all the different characters. So yeah, we're really excited to be here in San Antonio and can't wait to perform for everyone. And what's the best part, would you say, about playing Elsa? I think it's just so exciting to, especially after the pandemic, mm -hmm. particularly to be back in front of live audiences. We feed off the energy from the crowd and again, seeing the faces of the kids and the families in the audience out doing something special that's really heartwarming and really great for us as performers. Now, I mean, I know your favorite Disney movie might be Frozen, but is there another <laughs> Disney movie that, that you like as well? I do really enjoy Tangled, uh, Rapunzel. We have that in our show as well. That's nice. uh, one of my other favorites. <laughs> Got it. All right, and then if you could be any other character on the ice, would you? Or are you dedicated to Elsa? I'm dedicated. I'm dedicated. <laughs> Six years, right? Would you, yeah. Would you say it's hard to let her go? Oh, oh, I see what you're <laughs> Uh, no, I love, I love it. There's, there's really no downside to it. Perfect. And are there any challenges with that performing? I guess you could say, like, that can ca catch you off guard. Either. There's, a lot, there's a lot going on. Yes, yes. Um, of course, when we put these stories out here, we try to, you know, emulate everything that you see in the movies. So yes. there are some magical effects, and yes. it can be a little bit difficult, but we navigate through it, and it really brings everything together. All right. And how long have you been skating? I have been skating for 26 years, wow. which is a very long very time. Very impressive. Yeah. You know what you're doing out there. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so seven performances, right, this weekend? Yes. We start tomorrow evening and go through the weekend, seven performances. All right. Well, Disney on Ice, dream big. Again, seven fun-filled performances here in town starting tomorrow, April 28th, and going through Sunday, May 1st at the Alamo Dome. For tickets and times, check online. There's a link on our website, salive.com. Just go to the As Seen on SA Live tab or just snap that QR code on your screen. Still ahead on SA Live, grab your dancing shoes. Grammy winning musicians are putting on a free concert here in San Antonio. Who will be here and what you need to know to get a seat. And next on SA Live, it's spring storm season and summer is on the way with those high electricity bills. How you can start making the South Texas sun work for you. It's straight ahead on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, spring storm season is here. And with each storm, there's a chance, you know, it could knock out your power and leave you in the dark. But you can prepare to keep the lights on with solar power. And here to help us get prepared is Dan Moran, Vice President of Sales with South Texas Solar Systems. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. All right, Dan, how do people keep the lights on? Tell us how they can be prepared. Well, I like that key comment, prepared. I mean, that right there says it all. I mean. One thing to, to really uh, is a big factor is know your utility company, get in, in touch with them, contact the uh, solar companies that are here local. We are one of the local companies. Know that there are still in, uh, incentives out there, rebates, tax credits, and of course, you know, there is the, uh, the, the backup energy. So that'll get you prepared for any type of storms that we are going to be seeing here in the near future. So besides those reasons, mm -hmm. you know, because I know those are some reasons folks may, you know, may decide to go solar, what are some other reasons folks are deciding to go solar nowadays? That's a loaded question. It's a great question because recently I've been, I've been uh, notified 
What's popular right now is the Bitcoin. Right now, that is huge, huge uh, right now. Cybersecurity, people are backing up their homes uh, uh, for that because that has to be, you know, they, they're, they're putting in production energy just to cover the servers that are in their homes. So that one is, uh, was new to me and I, I'm, I'm very interested now in that. Uh, but other ones are, you know, of course, animals, livestock, uh, medical reasons. But, you know, the number one still is saving money, uh, reducing your electricity costs, and then, of course, you know, having the backup system again as well. So, you know, why is it important to go with a local company and how does that affect pricing? Another good question. Uh, the reason is because um, there are a lot of companies migrating here to, you know, South Texas and San Antonio. Um, these companies, you know, of course, when you hear that, that key word out of town, I mean, that means that they're going to price a little bit higher because they have to subcontract that work out. Okay. Here with a local company, you're going to get a more proper price for your solar system. You're going to get a system, a company with a, with that can put together a system and then a service maintenance. And then we're here. We're actually local. We can get to you as soon as possible. We don't charge or we don't have any, uh, we don't do any outsourcing. Right. We're a one stop shop here. So it's all done right there. Yeah. And so if something say goes wrong or anything has to be replaced, Right, you can right call us up. Yeah, we'll okay. be right. And to you. solar isn't just for homes. You mentioned companies, of course, coming to Texas, mm -hmm. and that's important as well. Not just residential, right? Yeah, uh, it's not just residential. I mean, right now the the main focus is. Uh, you know, there's businesses, as you see here on the monitor. I mean, we have a large profile in some of our biggest customers, like you know, the Pentagon. We got HEBs, we got Tesla, we've solar SpaceX. I mean, those right there are are big, well-known names. But we are doing a lot of other big projects out there. I mean, there's solar farms. I mean, there's so many incentives out there. There's the tax credits that these companies can can get. There's also the accelerated tax depreciation, and there's also big, humongous rebates right now. Now. So please, if you have a business, you own your own building, give us a call. And you've got a deal for folks watching right now. And that's for the residential, yes. All right. So residential, I mean, we have the home suite solar. That's still a perfect, perfect way to start, prepare you for this summer. Uh, it'll cover anywhere from $100 to $200. And of course, that'll eliminate that bill. And then you're only paying like $80 a month. So that's a, that's a, a great exchange. So right there, take advantage of that. If, uh, uh, if you want to use that to get started, and then maybe jump into the backup systems. You can do that and then always add power as you grow everybody you know uh, and I always advise you know you don't have to start big get a system that's comfortable suitable for you and then you can always add panels you can always add production and then even add so uh, backup energy all right Dan Moran vice president of South Texas solar systems thank you for all that information here is that home suite solar deal on your screen call now to save anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars per month on a brand new solar system for your home with the home suite solar deal the number is 210-361-8431 or just visit txsolarsystems.com of course you can also find out more from south texas solar by following them on facebook instagram and twitter dan thank you so much thank you Still ahead on SA Live, ready to create the home of your dreams? It could be easier than you think. How you can get started on building a home made just for you. And next, need an easy recipe for dinner time? The secret hacks to creating this impressive dish with ease. You don't want to miss this. You're watching SA Live. recipe that's simple yet impressive. The experts at Fisher & Weezer have made it so easy with their sauces and jams. Yes! All right, and Deanna Fisher, Chief Experience Officer with Fisher & Weezer, is here to share a main course mm -hmm. recipe and, of course, a refreshing cocktail. Of course. Thank you for having me. It's so fun. You know I love coming to cook with you all. <laughs> so we have a really great springtime recipe for today. It's a risotto using our organic uh, red pepper pasta sauce and this is organic it's one of our award winners which is super fun and so, that's all you need right there on the screen yeah just, just these few ingredients right here mm -hmm. and so you just start with a little boiling water mm -hmm. we use our boreo rice and that's important right that you get the right rice when it comes to it is so you can pour that in there and pour a little more you can do boiling water or chicken broth actually oh, nice. actually okay, okay. so put in a little more chicken broth in mm -hmm. And you're going to want to let that cook, but stirring it continuously. Okay. And then you can go ahead and put the mom's pasta sauce, the roasted red pepper. 
And available at your Available at H-E-B, H-E-B mm-hmm. and Jelly.com and at our stores in Fredericksburg. Mm-hmm. And so you're going to want to stir that up. Okay. Well, but we don't have a spoon. <laughs> We'll so that's what Someone you do. Will be coming. <laughs> and let then check, let, let, let me it check in away. the back if we have something in the back. <laughs> yeah, be right back. <laughs> okay. Then we have it here yes. with yes. roasted chicken on Beautiful. top. Beautiful. And I like what you said. If you want to bake it or go ahead and just buy the. Oh, thank, <laughs> thank you, you. Fiona. Fiona to the rescue. <laughs> so remember the tip on this is keep stirring it the whole time. And that rice has extra starch in it. Okay. And that will activate it and let it come out and really thicken it up. It's about 15 minutes, you said. Yes. Okay. And all you have to do then is, once it's thick, is put it on the plate and top it with the baked chicken. As we were saying, you can bake it yourself, Mm -hmm. or you can get a rotisserie chicken from H E B. Make your life easy, Mm -hmm. and of course, top it with Parmesan cheese. Oh, so delicious! Yes, I'm all about the easy Mm -hmm. recipes. And for those who haven't been to the Fisher and Weezer Farmstead, tell us some more. What what's new there? Well, there's a lot happening out on the farmstead. Mm -hmm. So of course, we have our original store, Das Peach House. You can see the beautiful lake and the ground there everyone is welcome Mm -hmm. you can sit by the lake and have a glass of wine there's my son Dietz he and his sister Ellie have just opened the Dietz distillery that's right next door to Das Peach House he specializes in peach and pear brandy Mm -hmm. made out of the ripe fruit from our orchards but he also has year-round he has a gin the five judges gin Mm -hmm. and today I have brought you his brand new product which is him beer vodka which is raspberry that's raspberry in German Mm. And we have a raspberry racer for you today. Super easy to do. You just take fresh grapefruit juice mm. and an ounce and a half of the Himbeer vodka from Dietz Distillery. Okay. I love the fresh grapefruit. Yes. Mm. And, you know, we have wonderful Texas grapefruits. Yes. And so yes. we love to use everything we can from Texas. And then top it off with a little Topo Chico or other, some other kind of sparkling water and give it a little stir and you've got a refreshing cocktail as as the days heat up this is the way to go and it's so nice because if you go there now on the property you can there's a selection of cocktails you can Absolutely. sit out by the you the can water. visit the distillery mm-hmm. you can have a tasting hear about distilling and the different things that he makes All and right. then awesome. order a cocktail sit outside you could still see the lake and listen to live <laughs> music we're going to be the judge if this is light and refreshing <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, it absolutely is. Oh, that's delicious. Very Mom good approved. Mm-hmm. Good. Yes. And you have so many recipes also on your website, right? We have tons of recipes on the website. We Our cooking school is now back up and running full force, so we have all kinds of classes that people can sign up for. Uh, this weekend, we have a pie class, mm-hmm. which Tara Royer, from the, she's from uh, Round Top, and she's the pie maven. Oh. She's going to look on jelly.com and get a seat for that. She's going to be cooking a savory pie and a sweet pie and teach you about that. And, of course, we have our wine pairings with that, and it's just a fun evening and a fun meal. Wine and Hi, it sounds amazing. <laughs> yeah, right. Also, already mom approved. <laughs> all right, well, thank you so much, Deanna. All right, all right. So there's the information. Pie making class at Das Peach House Cooking School this weekend. For more, just information, just uh, on Fisher and Weezer. Just head on over to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. And we have those recipes, of course, on our homepage yes, right now. Yes, the risotto mm-hmm. and the mm-hmm. cocktail. Thank you so much, Deanna. Yes, thank you for having me. Next on Essay Live, popular musicians include Grammy-winning artists are putting on a concert for free here in San Antonio. Find out how you can get a seat and get a sneak peek at the performance of one of the people that will be there. That's coming up after the break. Back to SA Live. Do you want to see some of the biggest names in Tejano and Conjunto music for free? Keyword free. Two Grammy winners are playing a concert here in Market Square. Alvaro del Norte from Grupo Tan Tan and Los Calejeros is here to talk all about it. I think I saw Flaco Jimenez in that video. Right? That was actually his brother. Santiago. Oh, okay. They look yeah. alike. So yeah. who's going to be there? Tell me all about it. Flaco, Flaquito Jimenez mm-hmm. is going to be there and the Tex Maniacs, which includes Max Baca and Josh Baca, all Grammy Award winning bands. Wow. So, this is yeah. impressive. And now this is the fourth event. How popular has this been in previous? Have, do you know, like, were you here last time? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I've been there at every show. Yeah. And uh, yeah, at every show we have a line out the door. Some people cannot get in. Uh, so it's been been a very popular event. Mm-hmm. Uh, so yeah, with this one for sure, it's going to be our biggest one yet. 
Um, we're asking everybody to please arrive there early, like yes. right now. Like, leave your house <laughs> right now. Go camp out, right? <laughs> well, the setup is a little different, too. Tell me about the way the setup is. No stage, no lights, but this is all intentional, right? Right, yeah. So, like, in most Tejano Conjunto shows, you know, like right here at Market Square, you have a big stage, big lights, all the sound system. With this series, we're trying to do something a little uh, different. We're trying to take it back to the roots of Conjunto music. Mm -hmm. You know, Conjunto started in people's living rooms, and people's backyards, and we're trying to really capture that essence of that. So, well, yeah, we're doing, uh, you know, we're doing a small sound system, but other than that, it's just basic accordion and bajo sexto. That's that's it, man. I love that. Very intimate setting, Very, right? Yeah. And what do people need to know if they want to get a good seat? I know you said to get there early, but yeah, get any there other early tips? as <laughs> as soon as you can. I believe that doors are going to be opening at 6:45. If you want to get there at 6 a.m. <laughs> At, at, He's at not like kidding. Six, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. As soon as possible. At 6.45 p.m., you know, get there as early as you can. And last question, what is it that you love about Conjunto music? I love everything, man, but uh, the thing I love the most, is it really is a reflection of who we are here in San Antonio. The music, the culture, it, it really is the story of San Antonio, man, and this is our music, you know. These songs are about us. They're written by people from these neighborhoods, from this city, you know, from South Texas. So it's really our music. It's us. Oh, you really are. Look, give me goosebumps here. I love that. <laughs> Great answer. Go join the fun. Start camping out now, right? The fourth Conjunto Underground is tomorrow night, Thursday, April 28th, in the mural room of Mi Tierra here in Market Square. Doors open at 6.45 p.m. It is free. Again, keyword free. Open to the public. But seating is limited. The night starts with Alvaro del Norte and Regino Lopez and will feature Grammy winners Los Tex Maniacs and Flaco Jimenez. Right now, Alvaro and his bandmate Stevie will give us a sneak peek at their performance. Listo. One, two, tres. <laughs> For more information on Conjunto Underground, go to LaFamiliaCortez.com. Next on SA Live, we're whisking you away to beautiful homes just waiting for you to move in. Which one could be the best fit for your family and how you can even create the home of your dreams. Luxury homes are calling your name and you'll be able to pay them a visit this weekend during the 2022 Spring Tour of Homes in the San Antonio, Bernie and New Braunfels area. Joining us today are Christy Sutterfield, Executive Officer with the Greater San Antonio Builders Association and Shannon Payne, Vice President of Sales with Weston Dean Homes. Welcome ladies. Hi. Thank you so much today. for having us. I love this time of year <laughs> because I love going to see these fabulous homes and Christy, we are going into the second weekend, right? Right? Yes, um, the spring tour of homes, but it's not just homes. You have communities, um, you know, for folks to explore too, right? Absolutely. We have seven key communities and there's something for everyone. Five of the communities are by Bitter Blue, formerly known as Denton Development, and they're Cantera Hills, Elkhorn Ridge, Holland Estate, Kinder Ranch, and uh, the Chavano Highlands. And then another developer has two South Star communities and they are Vita and Mission Del Lago. And one of the great things about these two communities is it's a first time move in family community. So they're very affordable too. And Christy, you're excited about your sponsors too, right? I sure am. You know, we couldn't do this type of tour 
without the help of our partners. CPS Energy is our presenting partner for the 2022 Spring Tour of Homes. They do so much for our community and so much for the building industry too. And then we have this cool mobile app and it is sponsored by Dayton Schrader with the Schrader Group. And you can go on, all 53 houses are listed. So you can get driving directions. You can actually, it'll take you to each builder's website too. So you can get more information on the builder. And Shannon, tell us a little bit about Weston Dean Custom Homes. Sure. Weston Dean is one of, if not the largest custom home builders in the San Antonio and Hill Country area. Brian Mendenhall started Weston Dean in 2010, naming the company after his oldest son and his wife, Deanne. We have built hundreds of homes and they are all one of one. Our definition of a custom home is a home that has never been designed or built before. And so what makes Weston Dean unique? We have a very unique pricing tool that allows our clients to see throughout the design process what their costs are. And they have complete control to push the buttons and pull the levers to get exactly what they want in their home. We have five beautiful models in the spring tour and from different styles, from traditional to contemporary to modern farmhouse, you'll see things like large islands in the kitchen. You'll see open spaces in what we call the heart of the home, a lot of windows to bring the outside in, tree houses and lofts and hidden rooms to name a few. And if someone wants you guys to build for them, how, how do they do that? Sure, uh, so we would start with our design process. We take you through four or five really fun meetings with our design team. We go through a lifestyle questionnaire to see how they live, what are their daily routines? That way we can design the home and the spaces around them and enhance their lives and not waste any space. We'll move into our construction phase where each of our clients receive access to a secured website with all of the details of their home, weekly updates, communication, photos. Oh, Christy, Janet, thank you so much. The 2022 Spring Tour of Homes is going on now through May 1st in San Antonio, Bernie, and New Braunfels in partnership with CPS Energy. For more information, visit sabuilders.com or call 210-696-3800. You can also download the free mobile app for iPhone or Android. Just search SA Spring Tour of Homes. All right, tomorrow on SA Live, if you still need a Mother's Day gift for mom or grandma, thinking about making a pottery project for her. We craft Mother's Day projects by hand, all of that and more tomorrow at one right here on SA Live. All right, earlier we asked you, how do you like to top your mac and cheese? Veronica, lean brisket, of course. Ooh, yes. Victor, absolutely nothing. If it's done the right way, I don't like to dilute the taste by adding any. Victor, that's like me with a else. vodka drink. I don't like to dilute the taste. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be here tomorrow too, folks. Yes, lots of food and great content. Mm, I'm eating. Yes. Let's do it. Thanks for watching.